Welcome to Guess or Mess, the game show by PragerU Kids. I'm Noah, and in this show, if you answer a question fast and correctly, you avoid getting totally gross and messy. Yeah. Joining us today, we've got August and Charlie. Before coming here, each of you read our PragerU Kids digital magazine about John D. Rockefeller from our website. Now, we're going to see how much of it you remember. Here are your messes for today. Green slime, the leaning tower of spam, hot dog condiments, clam juice spray, mystery eggs, shaving foam, chicken feet, secret messes, and a pie in the face. <laughs> Before we play, John D. Rockefeller was an American businessman. He founded Standard Oil Company and became the richest man in modern history. Rockefeller's parents taught him Christian values of hard work, community, and charity. He did not serve in the Civil War, but Rockefeller opposed slavery and donated money to help other men enlist. After earning massive wealth, Rockefeller devoted his later life to philanthropy, donating $500 million to organizations that improved people's lives. Are you ready to play the game? Yeah! yeah! Okay, the youngest player goes first. Now, everybody get your hands into the bowl. You're not allowed to take them out for the entire game. If you do, you lose a point. Got it? Got okay, it. let's go. First question goes to Charlie. What industry is John D. Rockefeller best known for developing? A, oil refining and sales, B, medical devices, or C, children's shoes? A. That is correct. He was best known for developing oil refining and sales. Rockefeller's oil business became so successful that, for a time, it controlled almost all oil production, processing, marketing, and transportation in the United States. He said, we must ever remember we are refining the oil for the poor man, and he must have it cheap and good. All right, August. <laughs> yes. Jello. Yes. Is that? No. It's green slime. I think it might be alive oh, or something. I want to I don't know. Okay. Oh. <laughs> feels nice. <laughs> feels nice. That's weird. Yeah, it feels like squishy. Slime always goes. Squishy. This is the easiest I can one. Play with, I Let can me play tell with you. my bowl. Okay. <laughs> so wait until I mix some other stuff in there. It's, it's fun to play with. Can we keep some slime? <laughs> <laughs> okay, second question goes to August. What was Rockefeller's strongest subject in school? History? That is actually incorrect, which means that Charlie now gets a chance to answer. What was Rockefeller's strongest subject in school? Math. That is correct. Dang. His strongest subject in school was math. <laughs> he was not an outstanding student, but Rockefeller was very good at mental calculations. As an adult, he would calculate interest due on loans in his head while talking to his clients. August again. Oh, this one's bad. Which one is it? Oh, oh, it's my leaning tower of spam. Oh. How much spam? <laughs> what do you think? It feels like glue. <laughs> I love to wash. <laughs> More ingredients. <laughs> feels squishy. It's stinky. Do you know what it is? It's different animals. Yeah. yeah. Are, you're switching different animals. Yeah. You don't care? They died for this purpose. <laughs> <laughs> okay, our next question goes to Charlie. Who taught young Rockefeller about religion and industry? A, his friends, B, his parents, or C, the mayor? B. That is parents. correct. His parents taught Rockefeller about religion and industry. Rockefeller learned about business from his father and his work ethic and religious beliefs from his mother. He said, I had a peculiar training in my home. It seemed to be a business training from the beginning. I was taught to do things, simple things, such as a boy could do. From the beginning, I was trained to work, to save, and to give. Look at that. Third in a row, she... August. Oh, this one's fun. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, come on. Oh, oh never mind. It's all <laughs> there was a hot dog. Never mind. It's all The hot dog. I get to make a little hot dog out of your hands. I hate the smell. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, oh. 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 Oops. Sun doesn't want to come out. <laughs> Don't want it. That feels cold. Oh. There it goes. I kind of looks like throw up. <laughs> Do you like mayonnaise? Oh. Yes, I love it. I hate mayonnaise. <laughs> Smash it in between my hands. <laughs> Why is it always that arm? <laughs> it has a little hint of B.O. <laughs> Next question goes to August. What was Rockefeller's church denomination? Baptist. That is correct. He was Baptist. From the age of 14, Rockefeller was active in church, serving as a clerk and a Sunday school class teacher. As an adult, he regularly attended services with his family. Finally, Charlie. No. No. You thirsty? No. Why me? <laughs> Why me? What do you mean? I love drinking clam juice. No, I, I hate it. Do you want some spam? Do you want some weird, uh, oh, uh do you want oh, some gosh. updated spam? <laughs> Can I spit it out after? Can I spit it out? Uh-huh. Oh, you don't actually have to drink it. <laughs> I was just gonna spray it on him. Oops. Wait, no. no. Oh. 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 Oh, make sure no. it doesn't go on me, okay? This is okay. Not oh my gosh. Oh. oh, that's that smells. Yeah, it's pretty bad, huh? Oh, it's coming over here. It smells like my mom's fart. <laughs> <laughs> What is going on? Ooh. What is that sound? This means that it's time for a Patriot Pop quiz. Which means you each get a chance to answer a trivia question about America that was not in the John D. Rockefeller Digital Magazine. Dang it. Dang Charlie's it. gonna win. <laughs> the twist, you'll be blindfolded for your question and for your mess. Oh. Patriot Pop Quiz question one goes to Charlie. Which branch of the federal government sees that the laws of the land are carried out? A, the executive branch, B, the legislative branch, or C, the judicial branch? Legislative. That is incorrect. So now August gets a chance to answer. Which branch of the federal government sees that the laws of the land are carried out? A, the executive branch, B, the legislative branch, or C, the judicial branch? Judicial branch? That is also incorrect. The correct answer is the executive branch. The executive branch is president, vice president, and the members of the president's team, called the cabinet. Article 2, Section 1 of the Constitution states that the power to execute or carry out the laws of the land shall be given to a president. Do we both get the punishment? You both got just, just some Rice Krispie treats. Yay! No, it's not Rice Krispie treats. It's not Rice Krispie treats. <laughs> Yay! What are you saying? It's just Rice Krispie treats. No, it's not. <laughs> They're gonna they die. Oh! Oh, gosh! Oh! Me and no. Hey, hands in the no. ball. No! Oh, it feels good. I like that. Ooh. Okay. Patriot Pop Quiz question two goes to August. What is the name of America's official song, the national anthem? that is performed before sporting events and official ceremonies to honor our country. Mm, what is it called? I have no idea. <laughs> I'll tell I you know. in a minute. Okay, because August didn't know the answer, now Charlie gets a chance to answer. Yay. What is the name of America's official song, the national anthem, that is performed before sporting events and official ceremonies to honor our country? God bless America. That is also incorrect. Oh, say, can you see? Because <laughs> I can't. Those are the words. <laughs> The correct answer actually is the Star Spangled Banner. The song was originally a poem written by Francis Scott Key about the British attack on Fort McHenry near Baltimore in the War of 1812. It was put to music and became the official national anthem in 1931. So, since neither of you answered correctly, what is it? you both get the mess. What is it? It's, you know, maybe you should just take a guess. Mayonnaise. It's spaghetti! What are you saying? 
I love spaghetti. Oh, what is that? It's just some worms. Oh my god! <laughs> no! Tell no worms! No! Why me? I kind of want to eat it, but I'm scared if a mealworm gets in it. Oh. You want to eat worms? Oh, they're no. not worms. They're not moving. Uh, if they were, I would want night crawlers. No. Let's take those blindfolds off and see what those messes look like. Oh, hey, it's spaghetti. I love spaghetti. See, it's not really worms. Yay. Now, back to John D. Rockefeller. When he was older, what activity did Rockefeller choose to focus on instead of business? A, he gave speeches. B, he rode the railroad. Or C, he donated to charity. Donated to charity. That is correct. He donated to charity. Rockefeller is known as a philanthropist as well as a wealthy businessman. He gave away vast amounts of his wealth to build schools, churches, hospitals, and to fund missionaries and scientific research. He said, I believe it is a religious duty to get all the money you can, fairly and honestly, to keep all you can, and to give away all you can. Who wants a grasshopper? <laughs> Not me. There's one on my hand. Here you go. Oh. Mystery eggs. Any guesses? What's rotten, inside? Rotten, eggs. rotten. Rotten eggs, spoiled milk. Candy. Here. Listen. Mealworms. Yes, we'll see. Want to give me a countdown? Three, Three two, two, one. one. Oh. <laughs> what is it? I don't know what it is. Ooh. Here, do you want do you want some of the relish? Oh. Oh. Okay. Next question goes to August. What was the name of Rockefeller's highly successful oil company? Standard Oil. That is correct. It was called Standard Oil. What started as one oil refinery became the largest oil business in the world. At its height, Standard Oil controlled almost all U.S. oil production. Rockefeller grew his business by constantly reinvesting the profits back into improving the company. Mm -hmm. no! Yes! Charlie gets shaving cream. Yes! 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 <laughs> You're happy about it? Yes! What if I put it like all Could over you? I don't you? care. Could you put it on me? Oh, oh yes! Could you please yes! put some on me? Could you please put some oh, on me? So Could I please good. have some? Can I please yeah. have some? Can I have some? Can I have some? Yeah. Give me some. I really you need some? Yes. I need it. Please, I need it for my potion. Oh, yeah. You know, no. Should I make a little sundae on his head? No. <laughs> okay. I love shaving Charlie, cream. Charlie, Charlie, throw some to me. Throw some no, to me. You like shaving cream on your head? No. Looks like you took a bubble bath. Next question goes to Charlie. How did Rockefeller organize his life? A. Eating, sleeping, work. B, God, family, work. Or C, business, family, fun. B. That is correct. He organized his life, God, family, work. The values that Rockefeller learned from his parents shaped who he was, and he put them into practice as an adult. He read the Bible regularly, tried to use its teachings in his daily life, and he taught his children to do the same. He believed that a successful business required a strong religious foundation. Yes. Oh no. You say yes? Mm hmm. Aww. Do you know what these are? Chicken feet. Yeah. Dang it would just be mean if it was dog feet. Oh, actually, yes, because he gets them. No, give me, give me it. Here, put them in the little circles. Thank you. <laughs> little chicken's crawling on me. I'm gonna that. mix it around. I was, was kind of, I was kind of itchy. Oh, that felt kind of nice here. Ooh. Oops. Here you go, Charlie. You want a hand? No. Oh! I don't want a hand! <laughs> no, <laughs> stop! Stop! Charlie. Uh, oh, you shaving cream just stop. <laughs> oh. Now it's time for the final question. This is an important one because whoever gets this one wrong gets a pie in the face. And there's another twist. You must hit your buzzer first in order to answer the question. You ready? Yeah. Here we go. Rockefeller's Standard Oil Company became so large and profitable that the Supreme Court decided that it was an unlawful blank. Monopoly. That is correct. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Rockefeller was determined to become the best refiner in the world and believes that only a large company could be the best. So, he bought other companies and added them to his brand. This made Standard Oil and its products better, but many people thought he had too much control of the industry. 
In 1911, the company was broken into smaller, separate companies that competed against each other. I have some special toppings for Wait, you. Wait, what? Today. Come on. No! Yeah! Do you like boba? <laughs> yes, I love it. Is it popping? It's popping boba. Yes. No! Oh, <laughs> should I make it big? <gasps> okay, chocolate sauce. You want chocolate sauce? Okay. Oh. Ooh. Best part of the game. That's true, that's true. Okay, you like popping boba? Yes, love it. Do both of them. Do both of them? So it's strawberry flavored. Mm. Is that yummy? I think we should all count down together. Ready? Five. Four, three, three two, one. one. <laughs> what if I told you those were fish eggs? I like fish eggs. <laughs> Here's what we learned. John D. Rockefeller founded Standard Oil Company and became the richest man in modern history. Rockefeller's parents taught him his lifelong values of religion, industry, and responsibility. Rockefeller became a well-known philanthropist later in life, using his great wealth to fund churches, schools, hospitals, and scientific research. The winner of our five-point star and American flag trophy is, drum roll please, Charlie! On our flag, red stands for courage, white is for purity, and blue is for justice and perseverance. Our flag is a worldwide symbol for freedom, and it belongs to all Americans together as one through our differences. Did you have fun? Yeah! Thank you for playing with us, for being such great sports. Both of you are going home today with gifts from our PragerU store. And we hope you learned something too. For more fun, visit PragerUKids.com and enjoy all our digital magazines and shows. Okay. Now shake hands. No, oh, come on. Okay, high five. <laughs> okay, now bye. See you next time. Bye. Thank you for watching this video. To keep PragerU videos free, please consider making a tax-deductible donation.